Welcome back to the seventh part in this series on making music with Milky Tracker. If you follow the series, you probably have a basic idea on how to make simple samples as well as some more elaborate, although still basic, drum samples. This episode will take a look at the instrument editor and its main features. Let's get to it! Short, fast, to the point, hold a bit! To get to the instrument editor, press this button, or Control i The two most commonly used features, at least in my opinion, is the volume and panning sliders. The volume slider allows you to set the default volume for each instrument. In my experience, drum samples or noise waves in general tend to protrude the mix and take over the soundscape a bit. Therefore, I turn down my drums quite low. When it comes to panning, generally my opinion is that no instrument should have the same left-right location. I usually keep the bass, melody and drums close to the center, while pads are far out to give a broader sound. These are just my general views, which I base on experience with other music production software. Remember, there are no rules. Don't be afraid to experiment. The next option, fine tune, can be really neat. Try this. Make two identical instruments. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here, but I want you to hear the difference. In channel 1, make sure you're on position 00. Enter C5 by pressing Q. Do the same on channel 2. For clarity's sake, don't forget to use instrument 1 on channel 1 and instrument 2 on channel 2. Press enter to play. Pretty boring, right? Now pan instrument 1 out all the way to the left and fine tune it down just a few clicks. Pan instrument 2 all the way to the right and fine tune it up a few clicks. Listen again. Hopefully you'll notice quite a difference in the sound. Panning the instruments gives you the wide sound but they need to be detuned for your ears to be able to tell the sounds apart. Sometimes you want sustain. To get that, check this box and adjust the value here. To get constant vibrato, experiment with these values. Those are, according to me, the most important settings to learn in the instrument panel. Short, fast, to the point, hold a bit! Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll actually start composing. See ya!